All right, welcome to our show. And I'm um, here with Joe McDonald, and this is Help Desk with Joe. And we're going to talk uh, again about technology. Now, I'm trying to rack my brain here. We talked about uh, backup systems mm -hmm. and um, how to get power to your uh, stuff that you may need, your cell phone, your laptop, your iPad. And then we talked about how to back up your data and keep that safe. And then this week, we're going to talk about uh, another important issue uh, that affects everybody. Yes. And whether or another, or will affect everybody. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about Bluetooth or hands-free devices uh, for your cell phone usage while you're driving. Right. Or doing whatever, but mainly while you're driving. Yeah, this is an actually important topic because, as you know, and as everyone else knows, the deadline for the new law taking effect of people actually using cell phones is June 1st. Actually, I didn't know that. So let's <coughs> back up and tell me, that, that'll answer the first question. Why is this important? Because in, as I assume, all of West Virginia? Yes, this is the state of West Virginia. So all for the state passed. of West Virginia, the law has passed and starting in June, you will have to have hands-free devices if you want to talk on your phone while you're in your car. Right, and I spoke with Chief of Police John Caldwell this week with the Spencer Police Department, and he said that the law states that if you are caught with this, this is a primary offense. They, this is given enough, good enough reason to get pulled over. Right, so they don't have to pull you over for um, not using your blinker or something like that. They can pull you over if they see you talking on your phone. Right. Excellent. Well, while we're talking about John Caldwell, uh, congratulations to John Caldwell. I don't know how many people know, but he is the new uh, Spencer City Chief of Police, and uh, John's one of my favorite people. Uh, he had his uh, son here in our daycare and so forth, and comes and volunteers at our daycares on a regular basis, uh, him and his staff, to uh, talk about uh, safety issues and so forth. So we really appreciate all John's help here with our programs, uh, both in the schools and our daycares. And I want to congratulate him on uh, the new position of Chief of Police. So a great guy to get help from, a great guy to get information from, and he's always out there looking out for our kids, uh, which is important. So, okay, so the law changes June 21st, comes into effect. Uh, tell me a little bit about why this is so important. I know you got some data, so throw some numbers at us. Okay, well, you always hear somebody always getting in an accident with a cell phone. A cell phone was involved. Yep. Well, accidents with a cell phone is the most preventable accident. Yeah, it, easy. And according to AAA, I did some research today, and th already this year, there's an estimated over 33,000 accidents that's involved a cell phone. Wow. And that, you know, and it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people have an accident and don't report it as a cell phone. Right. Just because they're afraid they'll get in trouble. Right. So I'm sure it's higher than that. This is just like, you know, the reported numbers. Right. So that's about occurs every 24 seconds. Wow. Less than every minute someone's in an accident that involves a cell phone that they report. And it doesn't have to be a major accident. It could just be you're backing out of Walmart, you're on the phone and bump somebody's car. That's right. still considered an accident. Yeah, and that could happen and probably does happen every day <laughs> uh, considering the amount of traffic there. Okay, what else you got? Well, the total percentage of people who have actually sent or received a text message while driving is 37%. I think that's a little low. I'm going to guess that that's way higher. Well, this is what AAA has said that people have actually confessed to. Confessed to, right, yep. So 37% uh, is still a little over one-third. So that's a huge number, and I'm sure it's higher. But, okay, that's scary. And they've estimated the total percent time of driving while they're driving, while they're on the phone, and actually in the wrong lane. 10%. That is very scary. We have a lot of crooked roads around here, and it's easy to go out of your lane even if you're not trying to do right. something else, <laughs> much less if you're preoccupied by trying to text. Right. So 10% have admitted to going into the other lane. Right. Wow. Okay, that's that's a head-on accident. That, that's very scary. Okay, and I see you got one more. And the one that astounded me the most is the total percentage of people under the age of 18 that have openly admitted to t texting or talking on the phone while they was driving is 46%. So almost half of all drivers under 18 have admitted to texting while driving. Yes. They have a hard enough time driving. Right. I mean, I'm almost a proponent for saying the driving age ought to be raised because at 16, they got a lot of stuff going on and it's scary. And I know a lot of people around here uh, count on having their teenager have the ability to drive themselves because of right. sports and the other FFA right. and stuff they're into. But, well, it's a scary number. So a lot of scary stuff going on. The law is changing. Uh, and I assume you have a solution. So tell me a little bit about the solutions we have here in place. Okay. Well, I see you got two examples. Yeah, I've got two examples. First things first, these solutions are only for talking on the phone. Right. But if your phone supports, you know, audio voice to text, voice to text. it'll support that as and well. I would say most <laughs> of them do nowadays. I mean, we're all, you, the standard phone probably has an app you can get or an app you can purchase. Right. I think mine has it for free. I just downloaded it and right. voice to text. I know a lot of the Apple phones, the iPhones have it. Right. So, okay. So, um, 
tell me a little bit. Uh, you have two different types here. Right. Tell me the differences. And there's actually a third example, but it just won't fit in the studio. <laughs> nope. Okay. Is uh, the new vehicles coming out? Uh, All the new cars, trucks, SUVs actually yep. have the capability built into the vehicle. Right. It runs off Bluetooth. You sync your phone up, and a lot of the goes right to your radio. Out, yeah, they have speakers or screens built into the system, oh. and you see a phone call coming up. You can just push a button. It goes through your car stereo. Just like you're running a radio. Excellent. Right. So that makes it very easy. And you're right. And a lot of new cars have that. It's a solid feature to have. So if you're out there shopping for a new car and you're down at Spencer Auto Group or wherever, uh, you know, stop in there and ask them about that availability. Right. And you're right. They won't fit in the studio, but everybody knows what a car looks right. like, so we'll be okay. <laughs> All right. So tell me about these two. I know they're vastly different. Each of them has different characteristics. Start off with this one, and okay. uh, you know that's probably the most familiar one. Yeah, this is the on. most common. This is just your standard Bluetooth earpiece, and it, it's a Plantronics earpiece, and there's several different brands out there. Right. And it's just simple as you take your phone, you sync it up with Bluetooth, and you just wear it right on your ear, and you just put it in. And hook it in, and, and hook it turn in. around there so everybody can see it. And I can I'm sure uh, if you're like me, you've walked around uh, a store and yep. had someone look at you and say, oh yeah, that's great. And I'm like, Okay. Yeah, you're telling. Then a person I, I talk back to them, and then I realize they're on their phone. Yeah, you're telling the person so, on the phone. Hold on, somebody's trying to talk to me here. Yes, <laughs> I've had that happen. I've been in a store before, and someone started talking, and I'm trying to answer them, and they're ignoring me. And I'm like, man, I'm going crazy. And then I see it in their ear, and they look at me like, you're an idiot. Stop yeah. talking to me. I'm on the phone. <laughs> uh, but okay, so the the standard earpiece. This has been around a while. It's very yeah. easy to use. Hooks in your ear. You just press a button on the side. So um, for everyone out there, standard earpiece. Okay. And now now next. Now with the Earpieces, they, Ooh, okay. the technology has, in, has increased so much that they have features like uh, noise cancellation. Right, right. But, you know, they've actually vastly improved in the original. Leaps and bounds ahead of the original. I, and not the original, but the original one I had was uh, rough to use. It, mm -hmm. it picked up everything. It was hard. I know the last one I had is extremely good. I could hear very well in it, and you're right, it canceled out a lot of noise. I could talk while I was driving my window down. Mm -hmm. So good option, but you know, earpiece, okay. Yeah, so. they have earpieces for truckers that they can actually sit in their trucks with a truck running and you can't tell. And just hear perfectly with it. Yep, they've come a long ways, okay. So the earpiece and the second model you have for us? This is actually a speaker. Right. And this is the Motorola TX500. And it's a Bluetooth speaker. Yep. This actually has a built-in clip to sit up in your sun visor. Yep. And with the setup, it actually runs Bluetooth. And I actually, I have one of these, so I, I really like it. I'm familiar with it. And it has the capability of syncing two phones at the same time. Really? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. I know how the basics work. So, but um, we're looking at basic speaker and it you know and it's kind of it's about the size maybe a little bit smaller but a lot lighter than a cell phone as you said it has the clip on the back mm -hmm. and I assume you're gonna call yeah we're gonna have it set up scene is gonna give us a call here and we're gonna show the clarity of it okay first things first show how easy it is to sync this up let me get into my phone here should I turn this one on well let's let me turn on my Bluetooth here so all I have to do is turn the Bluetooth on my phone okay power that up yep it's got a simple on off switch Gives you the buzz. Phone one connected. Battery is high. That's what I like. It tells you where your battery is at. Mine yeah. just hit medium, and it has taken forever, probably three months since I've charged it. Now, I don't use mine a ton, but yeah, where it says phone one, it's actually recognized my phone now. So it's already hooked up and ready right. to get. It's that phone, easy. If we had seen this phone connected, it would say phone two as well. Nice. Okay, so yeah, you get in your vehicle, you clip it on your visor, turn the button on, have your Bluetooth enabled, and then you'll receive a phone call. I'm looking at our producer, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cena McDonald back here, who's going to give us a quick call in. I'll hold it up so you can hear it on my deal. There we go in the sound room there. Incoming call. Press one. the button. Hello. Hello. Ooh, probably a little close to the mic, but you get the idea. So now I'm talking to Cena through the speaker. Uh, this has huge advantages. Uh, really nice. And uh, I'll have Cena tell me a little bit about, uh, are you familiar with this at all? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? Are you uh, familiar with this? Do you have one of these in your car by chance? I do not, but I will. Okay, so uh, that's a pretty good example. And then to hang up, you just press the stop button, and it just cancels simple. the call, and it has a, a plus volume, a minus volume, and then you can turn off the microphone if you just want to listen. Right. So. 
These are awesome, and it charges just a quick USB, mini right. USB plug-in. Right. Uh, like I say, I'm very familiar. I have one of these. I would highly recommend them. And it actually comes with the cigarette lighter charger. Yeah. So that, that's why. And like I say, I've had mine in my truck for three months, and I don't use it a lot, but uh, it's lasted for a long time on that charge. So excellent. I can hear very well from it. People can hear me even with my window down. It clips on the visor. It's right here. It's very nice. Right. So we know uh, that the law is coming. So. How would someone determine, you know, they're going to have to do something. So right. how would they determine which one's best, either the, the earpiece or the speaker? What would you recommend? Well, the earpiece would be more for an individual conversation if you didn't want a lot of people to hear. Okay. But I would recommend this if you're traveling a lot and if you think that's going to, you know, irritate your ear or just be in the way, I'd recommend the speaker. Or if you have difficulty hearing, yep. highly recommend the speaker. Yeah, that, and I, I hear great with mine. Um, and I, I will say the only uh, downside to the speaker is that if I get out of my truck for a minute, like if I'm getting gas or something, I'm talking to somebody, i got to unclip this and take it with me, right. and I'm holding it in my hand, whereas right. the earpiece, you, you can there. just get out and walk in the store, and you can be one of those people that catch me all the time and make a fool out of myself, and you can talk to someone and someone else, right. and they wouldn't even know it. But So yes, this, this is portable and goes on the go with you. The only downside is I, I'm really not into wearing one on my ear. And, wouldn't do it, but this I love, and I and that's because I just talk to people in my car when I'm driving. So, uh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, so, if someone was uh, trying to make a decision, is there a price difference? Do you know off the top of your head how close are they in price? Uh, the retail price on both of these are fifty nine ninety nine, but we can get them much cheaper than that. Right? Yeah, I know you get them cheaper. Uh, so. Okay, so comparable in price, it's just a matter of making a decision on which one suits your needs, how right. much you're going to get out of your car and talk, how important that is to you, and like I say, it's not important to me that I get out and have an earpiece in, so I'd much rather drive hands-free. Right. So awesome stuff. Uh, technology's come a long way, and um, you know, people have a lot of options, and they better make up their mind and do something before June, because yes. it'll hit, and it's uh, roughly, I imagine, around $100 fine. Probably at least. Yeah, so it, it'll be a big deal, and I think it'll keep us safer, <laughs> knowing these statistics, uh, uh, it's crazy because I'm sure they're much higher. Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so anything else we're going to talk about with Bluetooth? Now, if someone has any problems or they're not sure, call you and you'll fix them yep, up. Yeah, give sure. us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588 or visit our website at www.amdigitaltechnologies.com. So you got a lot of options. Again, this is uh, Joe McDonald uh, with A&M Digital Technologies. He's fixing us up with all our technological stuff. We've talked about in the past how to uh, power up you know, your units. You sell little solar chargers mm -hmm. um, and the battery backups that will work with these as well, your cell phones and everything. Then we talked about backing up your data and storing your stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this week we're talking about portable Bluetooth devices that will become very important by June. Yes. So uh, get on the phones, get on the internet, email Joe or Cena. Uh, at A&M Digital Technologies and order one of these up and again uh, it sounds like if you're more on the go and out of your car a lot yes if you're in your car a lot and want great sound and uh, pick up you got two fantastic options get a hold of Joe and Cena and they'll fix you up by June and again uh, congratulations to uh, John Caldwell the yes, new uh, Spencer City Chief of Police and uh, we'll be back next week talking about more technology stuff. It sure will. So A&M Digital Technology is bringing this show to you. And again, we have Joe McDonald here. And uh, if you have any questions or you'd like a question answered on the help desk with Joe, uh, email that in or call us here at our office or call an A&M Digital Technologies, and we'll be sure to feature one of your questions. And if you get your question featured, you get a prize. Yes. So make it a good one. And uh, we thank everybody for watching. We'll be back next week with more technology help from Joe. <laughs> thank you.